Big Daddy here. And today, we're going to take a look at Ubuntu Mate 1710 Alpha 2. So, I don't usually do alpha releases because usually they're really buggy and um, a lot of times you can't even get them to install. This one, on the other hand, was pretty simple and has been working pretty darn good for an alpha release anyway. Now, I don't suggest that you install this on your main system just because of it being an alpha release. But if you have a extra hard drive and you want to check it out or you want to just install it in a virtual machine, you can check it out and check all the new features. And you can also help the devs out by reporting any bugs that you may find. So what is new in Ubuntu Mate 1710? Well, they have added some features to Mutiny interface, which is the Unity-like um, launcher uh, panel layout that they have. And it seems to me there's a big push to, as you can see, welcome Unity 7 refugees, to grab as many Unity users as possible uh, with them switching to GNOME as default. So there's a big push in this whole release to add features that are Unity-like. All right, so with the panel layouts, you can now save your panel layout and name it. They have added support for global menus, and they work pretty good. I was never a big fan of global menus before until I used Unity for a little while, and then it actually made sense to me. So then I tried to implement them in GNOME and KDE, and you can implement them, but they don't quite work as smooth or as well as in, say, Unity. These, on the other hand, work pretty good. They have added super key support for most all of the programs, including Brisk Menu. They have added more super key support for Unity features like where you can do Super Plus One to launch an application on the launcher or switch to an application on the launcher. You also have the heads up display or the HUD as it's known. Now I did notice that this doesn't quite work as well as the other features at the moment. And I'm talking just bringing it up because I brought it up right here uh, by hitting super and alt, but it doesn't always come up. So I can hit super and alt and it will come up probably a quarter of the time that I actually hit it. So it's not quite perfected and that may be due to my specific keyboard I'm not sure but the HUD, HUD is not exactly working the way it should as of yet all right so they've also improved indicator support for all of the indicators in the uh, system tray again here is the mate tweak area where they have improved where you can save the panel layout and name it new community wallpapers, and all kinds of other fixes. So let's go through this here. So you have the brisk menu. Now, the first thing I want to say is you don't hear it in the video because I'm only I'm using simple screen recorder and I'm only using the mic audio. So I'm not recording the desktop audio. But there is a sound every single time that you hover over an item or click on an item anywhere, including the brisk menu like every single thing you hover over and it's enough to drive you nuts. So that's something that I will turn off and I have turned off. Very simple. Just go into the sound preferences and uncheck the enable window and button sounds and then it no longer drives you insane. And there you go. You have the brisk menu and there has been many updates to the brisk menu since and I guess if you're running 1704 and you've added the PPA, you've got all of the updates to Brisk Menu. But if you haven't seen the Brisk Menu for a while, there's been a lot of updates to it. So I suggest you check it out. It definitely works with the Super Key now, has keyboard controls, and super fast as always. So let's go look at the 
Mate tweak. And we shall check out the new layouts. So here is your panel. And this is by default the contemporary layout. So you got the panel at the bottom with your open windows. And they have put in Brisk as the main menu. Then you have Cupertino. And you always get this. Replacing the panel layout is, dis is a destructive operation. So anything that you changed, any panel items that you might have added, unless you have saved them, are going to disappear once you switch to something. So if you haven't saved it and you want to do something, you know, you want to keep it, you must save it before you switch. Once you switch, now we are on Cupertino, which is the Mac-esque one where you have the plank at the bottom and brisk at the top. Then you have Fedora, where you have your normal old school type menu. And then we get to Mutiny. Now, the last time I checked this Mutiny out, it didn't quite work as well. Or it worked. It, it laid it out the way Unity looked, but it didn't function quite as much as Unity. And they've been adding all of this stuff, like the uh, global menus and everything, to make it more Unity-esque. And now, as you can see, global menus work perfectly. All right, so you have your launchers on the side. You have a transparent panel, like you would in Unity. And you have the brisk menu up at the top left. So you have it more like a Unity desktop, and I think this will appeal to some of the Unity users. Going from Unity to GNOME is a huge change in the way your workflow goes. Now, you can make GNOME look like Unity, or sort of act like Unity, but I think you have a lot more work to do than just clicking on a button that says Mutiny and putting your desktop the way you're used to seeing it. So this is a great start for somebody that wants to use Unity. Or I should say wants to use Mate, but uh, is from Unity. And then you have your normal Pantheon, Redmond, and traditional layouts. So I can't wait till they finish doing this because this is actually pretty darn good. And if I was going to switch to Ubuntu Mate, this is probably the layout that I would use. And I might even switch to it because of the layout the way it is. So you have all the the new features of Ubuntu Mate. And it's actually looking pretty nice. And the good thing about this whole thing is that it doesn't alienate the other users that are so used to Ubuntu Mate in a certain way. There, have, there are a lot of people that use Ubuntu Mate and love it. And what this does is it attracts people to Ubuntu Mate, bringing more people using it without alienating the other people that use it. For like, for example, you have all the Unity users being alienated because they're switching to GNOME and it's so different. Well, now everybody can pretty much use one system and have it the way they want to. Very simple, very easy with one click. So I think that's awesome. What do you think? Is it too early to try Ubuntu Mate Alpha 2? Is it something you would help out with bug fixes? I would suggest that you help out because I intend to. And hopefully, by the time this actually releases, it'll be one slick operating system. So until next time, Big Daddy out.